people running from? They're not. They're running to the world's toughest reality sports competition in town. Today's battle pits the travel industry against circus people. It's frequent flyers versus freaks. So get fired up for MXC, Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. And now, your hosts, Kenny Blankenship and Vic Romano. And step right up to MXC. <laughs> we got a great battle today, Ken. It's the circus workers versus the travel industry. Yeah, I hear they hate each other. Let's go! And the captain sends our two teams of competitors off for their first challenge, Door Slammers. The goal is to get through the roll of nine doors to the powder pit at the end, where you grab a key to move on. That's Harry Lebeau getting slowed down there, but he breaks free. He threw the third row, moves on to the fourth, and... Oh, he slammed Vic. Indeed he is, Ken. The hibernation consultant Bonnie Stark having problems. And there's the final bell, and the round is over. It gives the circus folk a one nothing lead. I love this game. People always get hurt. Indeed they do, Ken. As evidenced here by this contestant, who suffered two collapsed clavicles, a ruptured spinal column, and complete ah! renal failure. Yeah, I went and visited him yesterday. He gets to eat through a tube. Get it on. Today's landing fluid comes to us courtesy of Dr. Freddy's Fertility Hut. And look, they're the Amtrak people pulling a train. That's great teamwork, Ken. And look, it's Dinky pulling some trout. Yeah, he's got quite a grip on traveler Ernie Saunders. You know, you'd almost think Dinky was a professional package handler. And there goes Dinky. Oh, oh, he is putting on a clinic. And the circus folk have won thanks in no small part to the efforts of Dinky John Ficare. And let's go to the MXC Impact Replay. You know, I think one of the keys, Vic, is that Dinky is an underwear fetish. Right you are, Ken. He's competing and collecting. Good thing for the circus folk, that little fellow's got a big thirst for thong. And here's Bob Evans. He's the Mile High Club president. He can win it for the Travelers. Let's see what he does here. Oh, and he makes it bad. He's got it. Wow. He's got it. Handling balls in the air. None better, Ken. Let's take a look at that winning catch again. And right there. What a oh. fine snatch. Nice catch. Well, look at his hair. It's perfect. Indeed it is. And so our competition ends with the traveling is outdistancing the circus folks six to five. Good, because I hate clowns. Oh, what a great contest, Ken. Yeah, only one thing better, though. Oh, and what would that be? My special part of the show. You my special part of the <laughs> show? All right, let's go. It's time for Kenny Blankenship's most painful eliminations of the day. And at number 10, that's Stinky John Ficarra, the world's tallest dwarf, making short work of the travelers as he gives them a return trip to the slippery slope of slanted deck. Number 9 goes to Paul Silverberg, who gets under those foul balls and squeezes out a big one for his team. Good thing he's wearing protection. And number 8 goes to retired circus strongman Pete Krumfeld. Poor guy's got a mouthful of sludge. That'll sap your strength. Number seven goes to Butch Air flight attendant Richard Wade, who palms another foul ball with both hands and slams himself in front of everybody. Number six is the lightning quick Patricia Cavanaugh, who falls fast, gets up, and falls again. Enjoying a nice hot sludge Sunday. And number five goes to drummer Phil Cal, who gets rimmed as he takes a shot to the back of his head. Let's see that rim shot again. But seriously, folks. At number four, look who's back, it's Tommy Turdy. He tries to cup his hands for a whack at the ball, but the ball smacks him right in the chin. Oh, I'm sure it's not the first time. And number three goes to Charlie Felton, who took the door off his hinges and paid for it big time. Send your condolences to his loving family. And my number two elimination goes to obituary humorist, Dan McGuire, who makes mincemeat out of that log. A log is a terrible thing to waste. Oh, man, I wonder if that hurts. And my most painful elimination of the day goes to Yella Baba Garouge. Oh, man, just watch his head snap. Hey, somebody find his Baba. We can reattach it to his Ganouge. Oh, ouch. Woo. Oh, what a great show, huh, Ken? Ooh. You know, I've really enjoyed these freaks and silly clowns, and I've also enjoyed the circus people as well. So thanks to all, and remember what we always say, Don't get eliminated!